the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about a few projects that um, have a lot of attention on them right now um, in the AI sector. Okay, I posted this short article for my patrons a few hours ago um, talking about the most hyped up AI projects worth taking a look at right now. So we're going to go through these. There's only four. Okay, guys, so we're going to get through them if you stay till the end of the video. Some of these projects I am in, some of them I'm not in at the moment because of the price point. Um, it's, well, it's not even the price point. It's basically where the chart's sitting right now. Um, I want, you know, I'm not going to chase a parabolic chart like you see on this one. This is the first one we're going to talk about, which is based AI. But let's just quickly gloss over this. Like, as the bull market gets ready to level up, we'll find market caps increasing a lower market cap gems being a needle in a haystack in terms of quality. It's very wise to position yourself in some of these stronger performers, although they're higher in market cap. Okay, guys. Because um, at the peak of the bull run, at a 100 to 300 million market cap will look cheap for some of these gems. Okay, guys. So looking at the first one, based, based AI, you might look at it like, yo, 368 million market cap, right? That's way too high. Okay, guys. But at the peak of the bull run, that might look like something very small. It's like, yo, why didn't I buy this at 300 million market cap? Okay, guys. And that's what I'm trying to explain to people, right? Because as the bull run evolves, we need to start looking at the strong performers, the top performers. Okay. Now, based AI, as you can see, is going parabolic. And there's probably a reason for that. Uh, one of those reasons is that this is a Pepe coin team project. Okay. Um, so this is the token for based AI. You have based AI. Um, so this will probably, you know, let, this will probably, it, it might be a good idea to, hide, uh, to, to hold Pepe as well. Um, obviously because Pepe coin will, you know, perform uh, as a meme coin. And um, this is basically goes hand in hand with that project. But not only that, um, it appears they have another token that they're going to be launching called Brain. Uh, uh so, so basically holding some pepe coin uh or staking some pepe coin not only staking pepe coin but burning pepe coin will basically uh give you access to brain credits okay if you go and read this do your own research in your own time remember none of this is financial advice i'm just showing you some projects that i've found that are trending and clearly the charts going absolutely crazy okay so as you can see, based AI is going up. Uh, Pepe coin is probably going to go up with staking and so on. Um, all in anticipation for these brain credits. Okay, guys. And it gives you an example of how much each brain credit is worth. And how much brain credits there actually are. Uh, for anyone that unstakes within a three-month period, your brain credits will be returned to the public pool. Uh, but we're not going to get into all the technicals because you can you, you can read this summary in your own time. Just go to the website, click on that. But the brain launch will actually launch in April. So, you know, this is an interesting project. They've got a few things going on. And, you know, clearly people are want to get going to get they're going to want to get involved in something like this. Um, and literally April is around the corner. So that will be an answer to why this is pumping and there's a hype there. All right, guys. But in terms of AI, people are saying that this could be the next bit, bit tensor. I don't know all the technicals about it, but they have a test net uh, called Prometheus as well, which you can check out in your own time as well. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, this one's very interesting. Um, without getting into all the technicals, okay, some of the fundamentals are, you know, the fact that it's an AI project and that fits into a strong narrative. The chart is going absolutely crazy and it's sitting at a 368 million market cap at the time of recording this video. Um, and it's the Pepe coin team. So um, if there was only reason, one reason to buy this token, it might be the fact that it's, it's the Pepe coin team, right? But would I be buying it right now? I'll be waiting for any type of pullback if it gives one and it should give one, of course. But um, you can see this one's actually bullish. And everybody likes to talk about the projects when they're bullish. They're not talking about it down here. And 
I'm no different to that. I'm talking about it while it's bullish, but I'm not in this token, but it's come across my radar for the simple fact that everyone's talking about it. Okay, guys. So that's the first one that I want you to keep an eye on. Okay. The next project we're going to talk about is OPSEC. Okay. If you've been following the channel, many of you know that I'm uh, bullish on OPSEC. Okay, guys. And I do hold a position in OPSEC. Um, I believe it's going to be a market leader in deep in an AI and again, in terms of the projects which are showing strength and outperforming most of the market when it comes to this, the, the same narrative, OPSEC is clearly doing that. Okay, guys, this is a very bullish chart, in my opinion. And sitting at a 210 million market cap, you might think that you're late uh, because you didn't get it at 5 million like I did. Uh, or 15 million or 20 million or 50 million. Okay. But um, what it is showing is it's being accumulated and it's in a nice consolidation phase. So after the initial pump, you know, if you were looking for an entry, just like I showed you with based AI, right? There's no sign of an entry here, okay? Because it's not consolidating. It's not pulled back. It's not consolidating, right? Opsec had this initial pump, went crazy. I wouldn't have been buying here. I wouldn't have been buying there. I wouldn't have been buying there. But when it's consolidating like this, it's, it's showing you that, hey, we're giving you an opportunity to get in. Okay, guys. So in terms of the OPSEC chart, I mean, do I need to talk about the fundamentals of OPSEC? I mean, I've covered it in so many videos. Um, you know, this one's going to be huge. And the fact that it's going to be a layer one is also huge. Um, you know, these guys are, This is this is one of the most, in my opinion, this is one of the most bullish AI projects, okay? And it's still very undervalued uh, for what it is. You know, um, there's all sorts of narratives that this fits into, okay? And if you're bullish on, you know, Ethereum and Vitalik and things like that, right? You've got people that are from the Ethereum Foundation, I believe, um, as part of the team. You've got somebody, well, they might, I might have got that wrong, actually. There's some kind of lineup with somebody who knows Vitalik, okay, as part of the team or, or has worked with Vitalik in the past, right? And not only that, but they're getting some huge uh, partnerships and advisory roles for people. And, you know, there's a guy that heads up the something to do with science at NVIDIA that's also uh, joined the team as an advisor and so on. Um, they've got venture capitalists investing now, X Network Capital. So there's so many bullish uh, fundamentals for OPSEC. And if you just look at the chart, you can see that it's looking bullish. So again, uh, this is always going to be included in my top AI projects uh, for this bull run. Okay, guys. So keep an eye on OPSEC. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is Destra Network. Okay, guys. Now... This was actually brought to my attention by one of the patrons. Okay. Um, never heard of it before that. Um, but then since then, I've seen people like Alex Becker talk about it. And this is literally within the last few days. Okay. Alex Becker's talking about it. How it's one of his top AI projects that he's invested in, um, which will probably contribute to this parabolic price. Actually, you can see here, this is another one that, you know, I'm not in. It's at 138 million market cap. But if this one does a pullback and shows any signs of, yo, we're consolidating, this is a good entry for this project. This one would be a good one to start DCAing into, in my opinion, uh, for the bull run. Okay. For the simple fact that it, it seems like anyone who's anyone is bullish on this particular project. Uh, this is a deep in uh dp narrative project as well the ticket is desync um so you know similar to opsec with the gpus and all that sort of stuff okay um this is going to be one of the go-to projects at the end of the day there's a lot of these projects that launch there's going to be projects that people want including on this list in the gpu narrative but i'm just talking about the ones that you may or you may not have heard of and um, they are actually going parabolic at the moment um, I know Node AI is a competitor here as well, GPU, but this one 
because it's new to me, that's why I'm sharing it, okay? It's new to me. I haven't heard about it um, until recently. And I wish I would have known about it sooner because I'll be sitting on some pretty decent gains right now. All right, guys? But um, the chart is a statement. Obviously, that's it's going parabolic. It's sitting at 138 million. Um, and, you know, if we go over to Twitter... I'm not going to pretend I know everything about these projects, but these are this is what's hot right now, okay? Um, so they've got a zero tax as well, um, as opposed to some of the other competitors that have like a 5% tax and all your node AIs and your, your OPSEC and your, you know, and, you know, most of these projects, they have a tax to generate revenue, obviously to support the the project overall okay guys so it'll be interesting to see you know how they generate revenue aside from the node sales yeah because ultimately there's a lot of volume going through these markets and those that are generating revenue through taxes right they're going to do well uh just be, for the simple fact that you know in the early stages of this bull run they're making a lot of money <laughs> okay guys but this one um, just for the simple fact that Alex Beck has talked about it, um, it has pump, huge pump potential. And, um, you know, it's always good to follow the projects that the influencers adopt as, you know, ones that they're bullish on. Because, you know, a lot of times influencers are the ones that choose the narratives. And I'm not talking about small influencers like myself. I'm talking about large influencers with 100 k a million k plus followers like alex becker right so destro network or desync this is definitely one you should put on your radar okay guys in my opinion it doesn't do much different to you know what we see with something like opsec okay um and it's not a layer one as far as i'm aware but i think you need to keep an eye on this project because it will probably do extremely well if you zoom out it probably doesn't look like it's pumped as much but um Ideally, you would have been in over here. So any type of pullback, it will be for uh, a buying opportunity, in my opinion. Okay, guys. And the final project we're going to talk about is Blender. Um, another one that I'm actually in, um, which I talked about and that I'm bullish on. Okay, guys. Uh, so Blender, uh, in my opinion, is going to do extremely well. Uh, this is the most... This is the lowest market cap out of all of them and very undervalued in my opinion, but it's in a very beautiful uptrend. Sitting at 75 million at the time of recording this video, I think I spoke about it around uh, 40 million. Um, got in it a lot sooner than that as well. Been holding it ever since. Um, actually doubled down on this one as well because I'm, you know, it's, I'm so bullish on the project. But... Um, Blender, in my opinion, is a buy right now. Okay, it's a buy right now. Same as OPSEC, it's a buy right now. Okay, Blender uh, hasn't gone parabolic yet, in my opinion. All right, guys, so this is a perfect buying opportunity. Not financial advice, but a chart like this is bullish. It's in an uptrend. So the trend is your friend until the end, they say. Um, and uh, I talked about the fact that uh, they have, yeah, this is a deep in project and they have, you know, um, they released the Blender box, uh, which we talked about the other day. So this one has huge potential in terms of upside and utility and so on. So uh, this is another one for you to keep your eye on. And, you know, ultimately, if you look at the way it's performing, it's a statement to the potential of it. Uh, when this goes parabolic, it's like you're in on the first move before the major pullback. Okay, guys. So... I'm going to round off the video there. It's a very short video, but I just wanted to highlight these projects. Um, so that's really all I've got for you in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the very next one.